I just want to hear your initial thoughts on the statement that is suicide selfish or it is selfish or just the general idea of, of talking about that. So my raw thoughts, gut reaction is I hate that statement. Mm -hmm. I will follow that up with, I can understand why people who have lost someone to suicide may perceive it that way and mm -hmm. may feel that way. And I want to validate those individuals' feelings because from the outside, it's like, how could this person leave me, leave the family behind, leave all of this? The reason I hate that statement is because when people die by suicide, they truly, truly believe that the people in their life would be better off without them. They are so depressed, low, whatever word you want to use, that their belief is that them living is burdensome to the people around them. Um, people don't just die by suicide. Okay. I, let me clarify. For the vast majority, because you might have people that are dying by suicide for like political statements or other purposes. But if we're thinking in the realm of mental health, it's not something that just one day they wake up and like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Um, I don't know the statistic off the top of my head, but it's something like 97% of people that die by suicide have a diagnosable mental health condition. So these are people that are struggling, suffering, and truly believe there's no other option for them. Um, and I'll be honest, like high school me, before I, like I did a bunch of research throughout graduate school on suicide. That's like what my research focus was before I ever had experience, lived experience with suicide. I probably said that too, because I didn't understand. Um, yeah, so that was a very long winded answer. So I hate it. I can see why people on the outside feel that way. And if you knew the pain the person's in, it's hard to really call them selfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That last part I think is, is the most important. Like I never, I never thought about it once with my sister because her, her battle was like a little over, uh, 11 years, 10 years. And wow. she was, you know, severe, severely depressed. She had bipolar disorder at the end of her life. She developed schizophrenia. So just like a lot going on and the amount that she fought and battled and stuff that she still accomplished, all of that, like incredible. Um, yeah. And so for me, it was never something that I thought about her, but it's something that I received from other people. Like, how could she yeah. that's so selfish? And then I really think about it. And to your last point, it's like, well, thank God that you've never experienced mm -hmm. that sort of fucking horrible darkness in your life. Like, I thank God that you have it because I never would wish that upon any human being on earth. But for you to say something like that to me or to in general about people who have ended their own life, you don't know the mm -hmm. darkness that was consuming them, that all they wanted in their life was to not feel like this anymore or to mm -hmm. not be a burden to the people in their life. And so if you just, it's logical, like you said, it makes sense. Okay, this person ended their life. Yeah. Like the wake of suicide is is forever. Like I'll forever have this thing. My parents will forever have this thing. And the mm -hmm. wake of suicide again lasts forever. But it, it wasn't like, like just so logically, yeah, I understand where you can get there. But if you just have to think a little bit deeper about it and say like that person was an insurmountable amount of pain and mm -hmm. this was what they thought was the only way out. And um, so uh, thank you for uh, validating what I thought was true and uh, appreciate you indulging me in that, in that question.